Have you ever seen a gown at a pageant and thought, that looks so familiar? You may be right, and today we're gonna talk about it. My name is Danny Walker. I'm a former Miss Montana USA and pageant coach, and I'm gonna share with you 15 gowns that have been used at pageants that are inspired by couture pieces. In 2023 at Miss Supranational, Mexico wore an evening gown that was all white, and to me, it looked quite inspired by the evening gown that Gabriela Eastler wore as her Miss Universe farewell gown to the pageant. This gown is not an exact dupe, but to me, they do look pretty similar, and it's possible that one could have been inspired by the other. In 2020, Miss Universe Costa Rica wore a beautiful red evening gown for the competition at finals. And later in 2023, we saw Miss UK, who represented Great Britain at Miss Universe in 2021. She wore a very similar dress to Miss Supranational Finals, and this style was created by Portia and Scarlett. In fact, this gown is still available on the Portia and Scarlett website for custom order. Whether or not you realize it, a lot of pageant designers take inspiration from Bob Mackie. Bob Mackie created gorgeous evening gowns primarily in the 70s and 80s that were widely seen on red carpets. To this day, his creations are still some of my favorites and I would love to one day wear an upcycled Bob Mackie style. But there is a very particular style of his that was quite iconic that has been recreated a few times. The gown I'm referring to was coined as the naked gown worn by Cher to an award show. This is a stunning gown and it was quite revealing for its day. In 2018, we saw Miss Universe Venezuela wear a very similar gown to finals. And what I mean by similar is if you take a look at how sheer her evening gown looked, and you can also see the beading patterns mimic that of the original Bob Mackie creation. But later in 2023, Mrs. International actually won in a gown that was even more similar to the original naked gown. This gown not only replicated the beading pattern and the sheer fabric, but also the iconic white feathers. In 2017, Miss North Carolina USA wore a Gregory Ellenberg evening gown to the Miss USA competition. This was a beautiful gown, I think, in images, but I was there in person, and for one reason or another, the gown looked a little bit dark on stage. When I initially saw the gown, I wondered why she chose that style. But when I looked at the actual gown inspiration for this dress, I realized the appeal of it. The original gown was from a Zuhair Murad collection. Zuhair Murad is one of my personal favorite evening gown designers, so no wonder Miss North Carolina USA wanted an evening gown inspired by a Zuhair Murad style. One interesting thing about North Carolina is that it is a part of a franchise director group called RPM, and what I've noticed over the years is that many RPM queens wear an evening gown style that is modeled after an existing tour style. And I'll share some more examples in a minute. In 2017, Miss Earth USA wore a gorgeous blue evening gown to the Miss Earth competition. This was a stunning style. I do not remember the name of this designer. Let me know if you know in the comments below. My guess is Leo Almodal, who is a very talented Filipino designer but don't quote me on that one. Then in 2018, my year at Miss USA, Georgia wore a very similar evening gown. It was blue, it was sheer, and it had the fringe all on the neckline. So that's why I would say that this evening gown was quite inspired by the original that Miss Earth USA wore in 2017. The recreation of this gown was designed by Randall K. Smith. Many people probably remember Olivia Jordan's iconic pink ball gown, and many people thought that they had never seen anything quite like it. Well, that's not exactly true. Olivia Jordan's ball gown was designed by Sherry Hill as a part of her couture collection, but this isn't the first time that a similar gown was created. Actually, in 1994, John Galliano created a similar black ball gown for Dior. Galliano's design was even bigger and it had more ruffles and even bows. If you've been keeping score of which gowns you've recognized, let me know in the comments. 
In 2021, Miss South Carolina USA wore a neon pink evening gown to the Miss USA finals competition. This gown at the time looked quite similar to me and I couldn't quite put my finger on it, so it took me a little bit of time to figure it out, but I realized that this is from a Michael Costello collection. The original gown design, which you can see here, is called the Havana, and I actually prefer this to the recreation that we saw on South Carolina. I, I feel that the execution of the sleeve on the original was just so well done, and with a slight adjustment, just creating a little bit more coverage for the front of the gown, I think that this gown could have easily been used at Miss USA. If you're a fan of Filipino pageantry, you probably noticed the similarity of Pauline's gown at Miss Universe Philippines 2023. Her finals evening gown was quite similar to the evening gown that Oksana Fedorova wore at Miss Universe. Oksana's evening gown though was designer and it was created by Gucci. In 2021, Miss Missouri USA wore an evening gown that was covered in rhinestones and it looked a little bit familiar to me at the time. And what I later realized is that this was similar to Kendall Jenner's Met Gala evening gown with the large stone details at the neck, but Kendall's gown actually was inspired from another Givenchy creation that was worn by Audrey Hepburn in the movie My Fair Lady. So even that gown wasn't an original. One gown that you might be surprised to see on this list is Miss Grand International 2021's evening gown. I personally loved this style, but I soon realized that I had seen it before. The original was designed by none other than Bob Mackie. As you can see, a lot of pageant designers take inspiration from Bob Mackie designs. Granted, the colors are different in this scenario, but the styles, as you can see, are nearly identical. I mentioned him a little bit earlier. Michael Costello designed the winning evening gown for Nia Sanchez at Miss USA in 2014. She also chose to wear a Michael Costello evening gown for finals at the Miss Universe pageant. After this gown appeared on the pageant stage, we started to see many other designers creating their own variations of this gown. One thing in particular I think that you can notice is how iconic this fabric style is. So when you see this style that was created by Giovanni, you can really see that visual inspiration, I think quite clearly. Nia's gown was very memorable, so it's no wonder that lots of other designers were creating very similar styles after that gown date debuted at Miss Universe. In 2023 at Miss Universe Philippines, Karishna wore a Ryan Fernandez gown. This evening gown was stunning and it's really funny because I actually talked about how this was the gown that I imagined myself wearing at Miss Universe. I talked about this right after Miss Universe 2022, so to see it in 2023 in real life was incredible. It's one of my favorite evening gowns. No wonder it looks stunning on stage. But Portia and Scarlett recently recreated this style. Now this hasn't yet been released on their website, but you can see a clip of it on their Instagram account. Ania Garcia wore a beautiful evening gown in 2015 to Miss USA Four Finals. I love this evening gown, but we did see what I believe is probably the exact same evening gown in 2014 at Miss Venezuela. The gowns look pretty identical. So those I think are the same and I'm not sure who the designer is, but then later after we saw this gown used twice, Miss Lithuania wore a very similar evening gown to Miss Grand International and then even more designers started to create variations of this gown. At the time that I filmed this episode, I found this version of the gown available on Queenly and it was created by Sherry Hill. In 2010, Miss Oklahoma USA was first runner up to the Miss USA title and she wore this gorgeous custom Gianni Strazia gown. Gianni is from Venezuela and has created many evening gowns for Venezuelan contestants and winners over the years. So it's no wonder that someone would want to recreate this iconic style. Most recently, I saw this evening gown style on Miss Teen Galaxy. It's not an exact dupe, but I think it's pretty close. In 2012, Miss Universe Venezuela wore this evening gown for her official evening gown portrait at Miss Universe. Now I know this gown wasn't used on the stage, but I still want to include it because I found an almost near recreation of this gown from designer Ashley Loren. 
As I mentioned earlier, RPM title holders, which include North Carolina, South Carolina, Louisiana, and Alabama at Miss USA, they seem to be quite fond of evening gown recreations. In 2018, at my class of Miss USA, my sister queen, Kaylin Miller Keys, wore an evening gown that was designed by Gregory Ellenberg. Unfortunately, Gregory has retired. I'm so bummed about that because he has created so many gorgeous gowns and many of which he's created for some of my clients. So Gregory created this beautiful orange evening gown but we saw a very similar style already worn by Miss France. She looked like an absolute celebrity in this gown. It was a standout to me. No wonder why Gregory recreated this gown style in a different color and without the slit. It was stunning. Those are just some styles that are recreations from other couture pieces. If you want to see any other episodes like this, please let me know in the comments below. But I hope that you enjoyed this episode and that you'll check out some of these other ones that I created that are all about fashion and evening gowns because I think that you'll really enjoy them. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you real soon.